What's up guys, it's me, Dora44, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to stream directly to Twitch from your PlayStation 4, or if you're one of the lucky ones, a PS5 without a PC. A lot of people think that you need a PC or a super gaming PC to stream to Twitch, but you actually don't. And before we get started in the video, make sure to follow me on Twitch. So if you have any more questions, we can talk more about it. The link is in the description below. All right, so what you need to get this set up is first a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5 console. You need a stable internet connection as well. Now, you don't want to look at the download speeds, but you want to look at the upload speeds. You want to at least have a five megabyte upload speed to stream to Twitch without any bad quality or lag or anything like that. You can go to Google on your phone, or if you have a laptop or computer to use, you can do it through there as well. Just type in internet speed test and it'll run a quick test for you. So that's how you can figure that out. Now, unlike the Xbox One, you can't use any webcam to stream to Twitch directly from your console. For the PS4, you need the PlayStation camera. You can't use any webcam. And for the PS5, you need the PS5 webcam. So that's the only downside to PlayStation and streaming directly to Twitch from the console. But if you have that camera, you're one step closer to doing it. Now for your microphone, you're going to want a headset that has a built in microphone. Cause again, you can't just connect any microphone to your console and use that. And then lastly, you just need a Twitch account. So let's jump over to my PS4 real quick so I can show you step-by-step step how to get it all set up. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you how to do it from a PS5. All right, guys, so once you're on your PlayStation 4, what you're going to want to do is click the share button on your controller. And it's going to bring up this menu right here. Go down to where it says sharing and broadcast settings. Click on that and then make sure you go down to broadcast settings. From here, click on advanced settings. And then this is where we want to start first before we even stream to Twitch. So again, like I said, you're going to need a PlayStation camera connected to your PlayStation 4 in order for your cam to work it doesn't just work with any kind of webcam so if you have that make sure you check the first box where it says include video from playstation camera in your broadcast so that it actually shows your camera while you stream and then in the second option here you can go through some settings to set up your playstation camera to make it look good for your stream and then next what we're going to do is click on audio sharing settings and what i would suggest here is i would just check all of these so the first one is include microphone audio in your video clips, which will include the microphone audio from your headset or your camera when you're recording your gameplay. The second option is including your microphone audio from the headset or your camera while you're broadcasting. So you want people to be able to hear you. So this one definitely needs to be checked. Now for this last one, if you want your party audio, meaning your friends that are in your PlayStation party to be heard on your stream, have this checked. If you don't want them to be heard, uncheck it now once we're done with audio for this next one where it says display message to spectators and spectators comments this is if you want chat to be on your screen while you stream now what i would suggest you do for chat is have your stream pulled up on your phone or something so you can read chat from there because a lot of people actually don't like having chat on screen but it's your stream do what feels more comfortable for you but it will make your gameplay window smaller. So it shows you a preview right here, but if you have comments on your screen while you stream, it makes your gameplay window smaller and it shows the comments on the right side for people who are watching your stream. So if you don't like that look, make sure you have this unchecked. So for this last one, comments to speech, this is if you want the PlayStation to read your comments on your Twitch stream out loud. So if you want that, have it on if you don't make sure that this box right here is unchecked all right so once we're done with all those settings next thing you want to do is pick the game that you want to stream to twitch so once you pick that click on it and open it all right so once you're in your game press the share button again on your controller bring up the sub menu and then go to broadcast gameplay and then you can choose your platform so since this video is about how to stream to twitch i'm going to click on twitch all right so from here it's going to have you sign into your twitch account so click on sign in and there's two ways you can do it. You can either scan the QR code on your phone or you can go to the website, which is twitch.tv slash activate and activate your account for your PlayStation through your phone or your computer. All right, so once you log into your Twitch account on your phone or your tablet and activate your PlayStation on your PlayStation itself, just click on OK and make sure that it's the correct account that you want to link. Now it's going to take you back here. Click on Twitch again. And then from here that we're going to set up our stream. 
So your first option says include video from your PlayStation camera in your broadcast. So if you want your face to be shown in your stream, again, make sure you have the PlayStation camera connected to your PlayStation 4 and then have this box checked. Next, you wanna make sure that you have this box checked where it's include your microphone audio in your broadcast. So the audio from your microphone, from your headset that you're using, it'll capture your audio so that people can hear you talk. And then again, like I said earlier, this box, if you click it, it's going to shrink your gameplay window and show the comments and your chat on your screen. So if you like that look, go ahead and check that. But I suggest reading chat from your phone or a tablet or something or a different device. So I would have that unchecked so that it's the biggest screen that you can get for your gameplay. And then for your title, title your stream, whatever you'd like. I would suggest titling it something catchy or funny like a dad joke or a fun fact or something so that it grabs people's attention and it brings them into your stream now for quality a lot of you might just click 1080p 60 fps the highest you can go but you want to think about your viewers so since you're probably a twitch affiliate you don't get guaranteed encoding and what encoding is is a setting that allows your viewers to change the resolution of your stream just in case they experience buffering or something so if you don't get encoding and then you set your stream to 1080p 60 fps some people might shut your stream off or just go watch somebody else because they can't watch your stream so what i would suggest you do is do 720p by 60 fps this is what i do personally for my streams on my twitch channel 720p 60 fps is a resolution that a lot of people can stream pretty regularly uh, without sacrificing too much of your quality so i would just do 720p 60 fps or 30 fps if you want and then you can also send invitations to your stream so all your playstation friends you can select players and all of your friends are going to pop up and then you can send them all an invitation to watch you on twitch another cool thing that you can do is share your link to your twitch stream on twitter so if you're logged into your twitter you click this box and then you can type in your tweet in the comment box and then when you go live it'll send that tweet out to your Twitter. Once you're done, click start broadcasting and then you're set. And then you're gonna see that top right, it says on air and it'll even show you how many viewers you have as well. And then to end your stream, all you have to do is click the share button again and then click on broadcast settings and then click stop broadcasting. And then quickly, just to go over it, if you are one of the lucky ones who has a PlayStation 5 and you wanna learn how to stream from that, it's pretty much the same concept so what you want to do on your ps5 first is pick the game that you want to stream so we'll just click on returnal and then once you're in your game click on the share button again on your controller and then go over to the right where you see the little broadcast symbol click on that and then click on whichever service you want to stream to so in this instance we're going to click on twitch and then before you click go live go over to the right side where the three dots are click on that and then click on broadcast options and now again if you want your face shown in a webcam you're going to want the ps5 camera which is actually kind of hard to find right now, unfortunately, but if you can find one, use that one. That's the only one that you can use. And then if you want chat displayed on your actual broadcast, have this enabled, otherwise disable it. You can even turn off your viewers, which I highly recommend you do. I don't even look at my viewer count when I'm streaming on my PC. So I would just suggest you turn that off. For your overlay position, this is where like your alerts and everything will pop up. So I would just select bottom right, or you can do center right whichever you prefer. You can include your voice chat audio if you're in a party chat. Um, if not, just keep it off. And then for video quality, again, like we talked about earlier, I would just choose 720p at 60 FPS. Once you're done there, go back, click on title, and then enter your broadcast title. Again, try to make it catchy or something that is appealing so that people will wanna click on your stream. So once you're done there, click on go live and it's gonna start your broadcast. And then to end, press the share button again go over to broadcast and then click on stop broadcast and that's how simple it is guys you don't need a super pc or a computer at all to be able to stream directly to twitch from your playstation let me know in the comments down below if you found this video helpful and if you like the video consider subscribing to the channel it shows me that you guys like this content and you want me to make more of it for you and again, I do stream live on Twitch and the link is in the description below. If you have any more questions that I didn't answer, hop on by the stream and let's talk about it. But guys, stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you at the next video.